Welcome guys, this is Maxim Grunin at Maxim Grunin Art. Uh, let's do a figure gesture painting exercise. I am using uh, black and white acrylics and uh, a, a kind of a finer brush to be able to draw easily with. And I am mixing a lot of water into, into the black paint, diluting it and making the paint very movable so that I can quickly draw and uh, paint in areas that I am, that I am trying to paint or draw. So I selected a picture that I liked uh, on the internet. Uh, this is a picture of two figures sitting and uh, facing each other. Maybe they are having a conversation. So one figure is a female figure and that she's got a dress on and she's got a, her hair up. The one I'm painting right now, and the second figure is of a, a man sitting in front of the female. So this is just um, an exercise that deals with understanding of human body. How can we effectively, quickly, easily show human body in um, in the study. So I am combining uh, a shadow with mid-tone and with a little bit of light at the end. So I start with darks, then maybe a medium gray, and then I finish with more or less nearly white or really light highlight. And the uh, yeah, background could be uh, placed in as well. So this activity is very instrumental at giving us a, like an enhanced way of stylizing and quickly portraying a figure on a page so there they are very blocky uh, quickly resolved painting sketches paint sketches um, oftentimes in the beginning of a drawing when I start to kind of plan out a drawing I make an assessment of um, how long would the body be I measure things in heads how many heads will fit into this body um, what are they what is the person doing what's the gesture of the figure um, how can I effectively use dark and light contrast to give this drawing a character or to portray what I'm trying to portray. So here is a man maybe shivering, maybe holding a bag, a plastic bag in his hand. And it's a, like, there is still that immediacy, um, how quickly this picture was made and uh, expressiveness about it so brush strokes or shapes of light and dark they pretty much give the figure the character that that it has so uh, here i am showing once again another figure is being painted in a very similar way so black is used in the beginning to figure out the proportions, the pose, the entirety of the figure. And then um, 
lighter and darker gray is used to further define just a ever so slightly a few areas you know I defined the head a little bit some of the facial features and uh, maybe a couple of lighter areas on the legs on the chest on the hands and that's it that's a, a quick study um, like a fluid um, expression based study so I am developing observational skills when I look at a picture and I try to represent that picture or create um, an artwork looking at a picture then how can I use my observation effectively um, then showing a little bit of um, approaching the work with shadow and light minimal amounts of shadow and light could be quite effective and quite expressive in quickly resolving a drawing or a little painting like this so there it is again very swiftly uh, black is used to map out the entire mass of the figure the whole area and then uh, maybe a gray midtone is used to bring some three-dimensional notions that there is light and dark in some areas within the figure and then I'm going back with black again to try to roughly sketch some more expressive qualities maybe there is some detail to the figure's wardrobe maybe there are features on the face there are sunglasses and maybe lighter nose and forehead and uh, here and just a few really quick black and white just using black and so to reinforce the notion that a lot could be done with very little bit look at how expressive and capable the brush with a little bit of diluted black paint is you can easily and quickly map out the figure um, give the figure characteristics of gender what the outfit may be what the general pose of the figure may be let's get a lot of this practice in I am pretty much recording and showing you what my daily um, drawing painting art practice routines are I am pretty much getting myself going uh, doing some warm-up sketches warming up to do more uh, art projects today and so I would like to loosen up um, start thinking with my brush flow into the a creative state 